Mmm, it's an orange juice. What's up, everyone? This is OJ. The snowball deals 110 damage. This is precisely enough to take out spear goblins, skeletons, bats, or fire spirits. It's basically like a zap that deals less damage to the tower. It has a larger radius than zap and fireball with its three tile radius. This wrecks skeleton army. It has a slow effect, just like the Ice Wizard and the Ice Golem's Frost Nova. It slows units move speed and attack speed by 35%. Slow effects do not stack, so if the Ice Wizard slows down a giant and you snowball the giant, it'll still only be slowed down by 35%. On top of its slow effect, it has a knockback ability. It functions exactly like Fireball's knockback mechanic. This is really cool, especially against Minion Horde. Splitting them up 360 buys your tower way more time to take them out one by one. You can decide where to knock back units. In this case, the Hunter Shotgun is useless after knocking them back and away from the Giant. It's an inexpensive spell where you can pair it with Hog to use Prediction Snowball. Timed correctly, you can interrupt the Barbarians, allowing the Hog to get two hits on their tower. This means it can knock back small to medium sized units like goblins, knights, or even zappies. But it will not knock back the big boys like prince, bowler, or giant. It'll still slow their move and attack speed though, so that's nice. It can also knock back small to medium sized air units like minions, mega minions, skeleton barrel, and flying machine. Just like fireball, it will not knock back the bigger ones like inferno dragon, baby dragon, or the lava hound. So knockback is the only true stun in the game. For example, if you have a hog rider that is about to swing at your tower, the knockback actually resets his attack frame back to zero. Compared to if you use zap, the zap merely freezes the hog for 0.5 seconds and the hog will finalize its initial swing as it comes out of that 0.5 second freeze. Here are some cool and significant interactions. If timed correctly, you can completely stop a goblin barrel, that's crazy. However, it's a small window. If you're too early, or if you're even too late, the stab goblins will always get one hit on your tower. This is still not bad for two elixir. The snowball's radius is fairly large, so even with a tricky barrel, it's most likely going to land anyways, and will still only get one stab on your princess tower. If you're a seasoned bait player, you'll soon realize that they have Snowball to counter your solo barrels. So what you should do is pair it with a tank like a knight. So Snowball will not stop that goblin barrel. It is not a hard counter, it is a soft counter. It can completely stop a battle round from connecting, so that's really cool. But you're still gonna need something to address those barbarians. Conversely, you can use Snowball to knock stuff closer to your tower. Why would you want to do that? Because Princess. You can also do this with Magic Archer too. Let's say he's sniping one of your huts and he's out of your princess tower. The snowball will bring him closer, knowing that the knockback resets attack frames back to zero. You can time this perfectly so that a musketeer only gets one hit on your tower. Same goes with a flying machine. If you interrupt its initial attack, one hit on your tower, that's it. Though, if you don't interrupt that initial attack for most units, they'll usually get two hits on your tower. To sum it up, a lot of fireballies will only get one hit of your tower if you interrupt it correctly. Anything like Ice Wizard, you name it. The possibilities are endless with Snowball. For archers, the knockback and the slow completely stops them from touching your tower. This is even more reason to split the archers in the back so your opponent can't get Snowball value. It's going to be even better than Zap against Lava Pup since the Snowball will knock them all away and the pups are already as slow as it is without that slow effect. The snowball will completely stop a night witch. This is why she should only be behind a tank like a giant or a golem. It can completely stop a mega minion from hitting your tower, which is handy since it usually does get two hits left alone. Against a single miner, the miner will only get four hits on your tower, whereas without that snowball, it will get seven. The miner is three elixir, the snowball is two elixir, so sometimes it is, sometimes it's not could knock him back and then plant skeletons to the force retarget if you're in a pinch and you cannot afford that damage on your tower. On the same train of thought, you can utilize Snowball's knockback to push the cannon cart away from your tower just like the log. The bandit is kind of weird, like 
legendary weird. If you try to knock her closer to your tower to prevent that dash, that won't work. She'll dart towards your tower pretty quick. With the knockback, it's kinda hard to use it with fireball since it'll knock the three musketeers away, possibly causing you to miss one of the two spells. So will it replace zap? Probably not. A zap only lets a dark goblin get one hit on your tower, snowball as well, but only if perfectly timed to interrupt that first attack. It can't knock back or reset the prince's charge, unlike zap which has that handy ability if you're in a pinch. Snowball does not cause a retarget like Zap does, so for situations like Siege matchups, if that Expo is already locked onto your tower, you have no other means to retarget to a closer unit. Zap can reset Inferno Dragon, Inferno Tower, and Sparky. Snowball does none of that. It can't even knock back the dragons. One of the things is that Snowball can stop the guards completely. Since it does have that knockback effect, separating the three guards, buying your tower more time to take them out. Zap denies two elixir from the collector. Snowball only denies one elixir from the collector. Hope you all found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.